After last weekend off, the Black Knights in the second dual meet of the year defeated the Air Force Falcons by a final of 422.65 to 417. It was the Black Knights' first dual meet victory over the Air Force Falcons in eight years. The Black Knights were also able to capture the all-around with Cole Casanova. The fun part about it is that they were relentless um, from one event to the next, from one routine to the next, one position. Everybody just wanted it. They wanted it. They just, they just did not stop. They were just kept pushing forward. And so that is really what made it happen. As you know, it's easy to like, you know, step up here and there. And I was just so glad that we just kept on them. We just kept pounding on them. And, uh, and so eight years of those guys beating us is way too much. It was, it was probably the most exciting competition I've ever been in so far, uh, but at the same time it was like really grueling. We had to fight for like everything and today, uh, you know, we decided to stay on the events and hit six. And Air Force is known as, you know, um, I mean they've always kicked our butts and they're a pretty good team and they're ranked up there with uh, a lot of the better teams and you know they beat like Nebraska and stuff in the past and so it kind of, um, it's really neat to be able to beat them. It shows that we progress into, you know, the higher level. The Black Knights will travel down to Annapolis to take on Navy and other service academy and their arch rival next week as they look for another star and go for their second straight star over the midshipmen. Once again, Army defeats Air Force for the first time in eight years from the Lou Gross Sports Center. For Night Vision, I'm Zach Daly.